So today I'm going to talk about water, what we do for water when we go off-road. We are a family of four, so we need to think about how much water we carry. I'm going to go through a little bit about how we store our water and what water we take, what works for us. The Land Cruiser Prado, no trailer, so all our water has to sit within the vehicle. And so what you're looking at really is what we use for our basic water supply. Um, 20 litre jerry can and a 10 litre jerry can um, and then I've got this new tank that I'll show you what that we do with that and that's a 40 litre tank so we've got 40 litres of uh, water in that tank 20 litres in a top jerry and then another 10 uh, so that's 70 litres and actually most of this water is not drinking water um, we generally have spring water in 10 litre boxes for drinking water uh, but obviously we could use this for emergency drinking if we like. We use this generally for washing, cooking uh, and anything else we need water for. Even boiling water for tea and things, we'll still use it out of here. But uh, otherwise we drink the spring water. So as you can see, I'll put a link to the description of the main, the new main tank, which is 40 litres. Uh, very thin and that's, I'll show you in a minute how that sits behind the seats. I uh, love that idea. Uh, I've got a funnel. Um, to help fill it uh, and then a bit of extra piping if we need to and I can attach that to the funnel if needs to or attach it into the tank anyway I'll go through all of that uh, one thing I will say is that this particular tank and I think it's fairly common there is a taste in the water so uh, whilst you could drink it, it doesn't taste that great but I guess in an emergency you'd be all right and often it's the same with jerry cans I do find that a white jerry can actually better I don't find get any taste in that one at all so that's sort of our emergency overflow for water drinking if we need to uh, the 20 litre jerry can I, I again there's a little bit of a taste in there so uh, generally don't drink that but as I said we use spring water so that's the setup that we put into the vehicle and I'll show you now how the uh, the main tank gets into the back of the vehicle so this, I'll put a link to it in the description, so apologies the vehicle's a bit dirty, we just literally got back from a long trip. So this is a 40 litre tank um, and it fits between the wheel arches behind the seats. So this is a Prado 2021 and the centre row of seats do actually adjust so you can pull them forward. Now the joy with that is that I can slip this tank down a gap here so that it actually sits down between the seat and the um, uh, and the back of this the folding seat that folds down so because the Prado it's got seven seats and this is where the seat folds down so you can see it fits between over the wheel arch and then down a gap there now obviously if you didn't have that gap it would just be a lot higher up um, but whether that's an issue or not that's that's up to you but for me it fits quite nicely so with the seats so these seats are actually in the what i call the middle position so it's got three clicks when you slide them forwards and backwards uh fully back is obviously up against the the uh fold down seats you then got a middle position then you've got a further position that pulls it even further forward so to give my my kids are quite small so it uh, it works pretty well in the middle position they're not compromised too much of space but it does mean i can get this tank in so as I said, this holds 40 litres. Um, uh, filling is through here, and I'll take you around to the side about how we get water out. So whilst we're looking at the filling cap, I'll tell you a little bit about some of the challenges I'm having with filling. Although not necessarily, I'm just sort of fine-tuning the way we work. So when, when we need to refill, um, you know, there are different ways. If you've got a hose pipe, you can put it in, and I'll carry some pipes and things, but you're never close enough to a tap, I don't think, to be able to do that but you might strike it lucky what i usually do is uh, i've actually got a funnel uh, and then i take the the jerry can and i put the funnel take the cap off put the funnel in uh, in there um, and then tip the jerry can in at the moment so 10 litre jerry can i can tip it in without too much problems yeah it does mean that i might have to go back and forth to the tap a couple of times with the 10 litre jerry can but anything bigger than that I can't do it with a 20 litre can it's too big to tip in but the 10 litre can I can tip into the funnel somebody holds the funnel I tip the jerry can that works quite well 
and to check the level so what I've done this particular model has a, an outlet uh, and I fitted a pipe to it and I'll take you around there and show you what that looks like so round on the passenger door uh, I've got a flexible pipe here coming in to behind the seat and this is where my tap is so I put on a tap now I'll have to uh, I'll move the seat forward hopefully I can get the seat forward there you go so you can see what I've done is uh, it comes with a it's actually got a brass fitting inside the plastic uh, so I bought a couple of pieces uh, to put on there this is a 13 mil pipe and a 30 meter connector bit of uh, PTFE tape in there to seal up the joint and then a what I would call a jubilee clip uh, on the on the pipe and then this now comes out so that when the seat is back like that it's pretty well hidden behind there and that pipe has enough flexibility and movement in this particular vehicle to uh, to get me out and now I've got a pipe with a tap on the end of it and I can have uh, a tap I've actually got a hose fitting on the end of it in case this is case I can get to a tap and I could plug a hose and push water in from this connection um, alternatively I can just unscrew that it's actually quite useful taking that with me if I did find a tap I could screw it onto and then connect a hose to pipe I've got a spare piece of this pipe in the vehicle connect that to this and then also help feed into water into bottles and a tap on here didn't see any point putting a tap at the other end as well um, but you just put the tap on here and the joy with this is that yeah you can just get your water out and uh, and away you go and put your dishes down and whatever so you don't have to be lifting jerry cans and tipping it out and this, is, this was excellent for us we parked the vehicle next to where we were cooking and then we could just pull out the hose and it was really really good so we're coming back to filling one thing I've been able to do is that if you stick if you open this of course using uh, open the tap once it's up in the air if I hook this into my roof rack like that I can actually see from the level of the water in the pipe I can actually see I don't know if you can see that but you can actually see the level of the water in the pipe there so when you're filling I usually have that next to the next to the um, uh, filler pipe um, from the back and I can watch the level of water go up as I pour water in so you then know if I'm pouring water in through the funnel I then know when I'm right at the top without overflowing and flooding the back of the vehicle and that works really well actually sticking up just like that um, being able to see as the water rises so at the moment you can see I'm about half full probably um, as I said that's come back from a trip anyway that's uh, that's what we've been doing for water uh, welcome any comments suggestions um, the other thing I'm thinking now is because the tipping it in is a little bit hard um, I'm thinking of making a little pump um, a little 12 volt pump might even be with a filter on it so that we could suck water from somewhere and filter it and put it in as well as being able to suck water from a jerry can and just pump it in without having to lift it in because obviously you've got to take stuff out the back when you lift it in and, and fill it up so it's all a bit tricky you know what works for you may not work for me and vice versa so uh, but that's what I'm thinking of next is the next mod for this but it's a really been a really successful tank because it's very thin I, th I mean the measurements are on the website but I want to say less than 10 centimeters thick um, but as I said I'll put a link to it and you can see from there but anyway thank you for watching